Rock and Pop Stories. Cat Stevens, Wild World, 1970. Stephen Demetre Giorgio shot to fame at an early age, taking the pseudonym Cat Stevens, but mainly because he was so gifted. In 67, he was just 19 when he released his first album, Matthew and Son, an immediate success which he didn't let cool down by releasing new masters a few months later. As a result, in 69, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis, which forced him to take a year off. When he came close to death, he took stock of his young life, reflecting on how to live afterwards, which led him, like many at the time, to oriental religions. His isolation also led him to write a great many songs, including Wild World. Contrary to popular belief, it was not intended for his sweetheart, the actress Patty Darbonville, who was nevertheless entitled to the wonderful song Lady Darbonville. Wild World, as he explained in 2009, is about his place in society, and I quote, Everything had happened so fast for me. My career had taken off, and it was a kind of warning to myself to be more careful in this world. I didn't write it about anyone in particular except myself. It wasn't he who first achieved success with this song, but Jimmy Cliff, the Jamaican singer, told Mojo magazine in 2012, I had an appointment with his publisher, and he played me the demo of Wild World, telling me it was by Cat Stevens, but that he didn't like it. I fell in love with it, so we phoned Steve straight away. He asked me for my key and started playing it on the phone in my key. I sang along and he told me we had to record it together right away. It was done the next day. He did the backing vocals and all I had to do was put my voice to it. With him helping me with the higher notes, he was a very good producer and it was a big hit. Cat Stevens in turn recorded it for his Tea for the Tillerman album. And as Jimmy Cliff's version wasn't released in the US, Stevens was a big hit, making him very popular across the Atlantic. On the other hand, Wild World was not released as a single in Europe, his island label preferring to sell albums. His conversion to Islam came after a near-drowning swim in California when his brother gave him a translation of the Quran. He converted to Islam and in 77 took the name Yusuf Islam, stopping his career altogether to devote himself to his faith and religious music. He returned to popular music in 2001 with a best of box set of his songs. And in 2020, for the 50th anniversary of Wild World, he released a new version with a radically different arrangement. But that's another rock and roll story. Mm -hmm.